Greetings, Bill here. Uh, it is Sunday, Easter Sunday. Uh, happy Resurrection Day for those of you that uh, celebrate that. Uh, 2022, uh, it is the beginning of the week where the uh, meetup, the first official meetup uh, convention for the shaving cadre happens. That's a little bit before one. Uh, today I'm going to shave with some stuff. Uh, uh, I'm going to, I think maybe I'll title this the uh, Notorious Honing Shave or something like that. So I met with uh, Brian from the cadre yesterday and we had a great time together. And he honed up on my gear, uh, his uh, very first razor. Uh, I hope it works out for him. Uh, and uh, I honed up something and I haven't decided for sure uh, whether I'll uh, link in, if I do link in some of the honing episodes of this, it'll be at the end of it. That way we can, you can go through it and get some information. You want to see how I, how I do this. Uh, it'll be there. If not, just skip through it or whatever. Uh, this is a gold dollar. I think it's a W66. Okay. One of the hardest, even harder that I think than that, that, uh, uh, spike point one that I had. Uh, because I was trying to maintain as much of the curved radius as I could on there when I'm honing against a straight spine on a convex surface. And I'm pretty happy with this, although there is there is one little spot that you can see under magnification in here where there's somewhere in there uh, I got a chip out and I chose not to hone it out because I wanted to go all the way to the end to see if this particular piece of steel would take an edge that is uh, that satisfies me in the shave. It certainly did in the test that I do with the packing peanut. Uh, uh, probably I'm going to go back and work this some more to get that out of there. And I'm not so sure if I'll feel that yet or not in the shave or not. But uh, that's what we're going to do today. The soap today is going to be a gift from Brian. Uh... Pre de Provence, uh, it's a French soap. I guess it sounds French to me. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, it's a triple milled soap. Uh, and uh, uh, he gifted that to me. Uh, thank you, Brian. Uh, I did lather that up a little bit and ahead of time. And it's part of my routine for, for how I uh, prep. I don't know if I have enough lather yet this really puffed up a lather but it was like so easy i just took the puck and i just rubbed a little bit on there and then uh wet my brush i'm using the um uh biggest brush i have big giant uh boar bristle brush and uh from starling <laughs> so uh, this really puffed a wonderful, wonderful uh, lather, really, really easy. Uh, it, it's something that I just don't ever really have a problem with. I know I have I have a water softener in here. I know if my water softener needs uh, some of the uh, salt for it, I, you know, and it's not full, I can tell just by what's coming out of the water. I'm turning, running the water off. Uh, it says some type of floral scent to it. I, I you know, I didn't bother to read uh, what the scent profile was. Uh, it was something that uh, when I was at uh, uh, Brian's shave store and we were <laughs> looking at his stuff. <laughs> He's got some stuff, dude. Uh, you know, I smelled that. I really, really like He says, you want it? So I said, sure, I'll take it. Um, so I did that and uh, that's the soap I'm going to use, the brush, the razor we talked about. So let's just see. Uh, the appeal of the curve is that supposedly, I don't have a lot of smiley razors. This would be the razor I have with the greatest degree of small, but supposedly they have a tendency to be able to shave better because uh, of how the curvature is getting into 
uh, some of the hollow parts of the, uh, that cuts pretty easy. I, I've got a good, pretty good bit of growth. It cuts pretty easy. It feels Just a wee bit uh, rougher than I like. I, there's no no resistance in cutting, uh, uh, but it is, and I didn't bother to. go through any of the contortions to uh, measure what the angle was because the angle, the honing angle is not consistent at all. First of all, I'm, I'm honing with with uh, convex surface, so I'm hollowing this out. And the angle calculation here and here, there's there's you know a couple of millimeters difference between here and this in the center than there is on the end um, because that's how this razor was designed. This is, um, I don't know that I would recommend anybody to buy one of these unless you're looking for specifically for a a, uh, a project to occupy yourself. So first pass, no blood. Not as quite as close as some of my uh, better razors, but uh, okay. This is an okay shave. I, you know, I've got gold dollars, other gold dollars, the regular gold dollars that shave much better than this one, because uh, this one on the hones, you got to do a lot of a lot of work to. Uh, maneuvering and manipulating it was a good it was a good uh dry run for me for the uh for the meetup where uh i'll be sharing the information and i'm not trying to um convert anybody like it's charged it's been charged by uh opponents that i do this for notoriety and i'm trying to convert people no no it's like if you make if you have more information about what you're doing and you make an educated decision with the most information, you're in the best position uh, that you can be. Now that uh, second pass, that's pretty typical. Uh, it's not surprising to me that I find this smoother on the second pass uh, after having a pretty good bit of growth. Uh, Uh, it doesn't surprise me. It's just the way I found sometimes, you know, maybe my, what I get is, 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 uh, to a sharpness, uh, that, that, uh, makes it feel a little,
aggressive. Still not shaving quite as close as other stuff. It, it did, uh, I was satisfied with the packing peanut test. So that'll be fun. I'll bring, bring some packing peanuts and do like I did with, uh, with Brian. Let them, let, let other people put their hands to my gear and, uh, see what they get and, uh, let them run that test that I use and then they can go and they can uh, uh, take that tool, that, those gold dollars I've got, they can take and they can uh, go ahead and do their test shave and they can make uh, an evaluation for themselves. So the third pass. I can't say specifically that I'm feeling that a little teeny tiny chip out that I could see. You know, I could see it. Uh, I can't say that I'm feeling that, but I know it's there. So I'm going to take this one and revisit uh, at some point in time back to the uh, to my hoods and I'm going to take it out. I'd hope to kind of capture that first uh, in a reasonably short period of time. And it's like, now nah, I'm, I'm, I'm into this and I'm like hours into it. And it's like, okay, this is just way too long. Uh, but I, I did uh, hit to a point where I was happy with it at the end. Okay, it's a uh, good shave with the normal uh, extra cleanup I might need on the neck. What I really need to do is uh, learn how to shave and pull that razor around. I, you know how these other guys are doing this? I don't know. <laughs> I gotta work on it because I gotta I gotta go this way, and I'm. I'm um, uh, just not quite able to to get that part. I'm a work in progress. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I do like this curve on that, uh, on uh, flat blading like that. Flat blading, uh, trademark registered Barber Dave, shaving cadre. I do like how that feels. But... Now let's do the test.
I never used to do this. Chase the baby like this. I never used to do this. I used to uh, chase the comfortable shave. And I still chase the comfortable shave. But it's like, how much is enough? Just a little more? <laughs> Okay, much better. Alum treatment. It's uh, not indicating that I have any uh, issues from that, that little chip out I have in that, that razor. I just don't like it. You know, who wants a chipped out edge? And if, uh, if you're tuning in and you don't really like my honing method, that would be a good thing Good thing for you to go talk about me. You know, you know what that notorious honer did? Uh, okay. Uh, witch hazel and aloe from Sterling. Orange, orange chill flavor. And it's orangey in color. I was at the store the other day buying some stuff for my trip and uh, there at the store I saw some of the uh, there is no name which hazel and I, you know the one bottle I have it's kind of low it's like I've had it since I've been shaving and I do like it I do use it uh, they don't have like a really beautiful smell of orange like this <laughs> you know I didn't buy it. I don't know why. It's like 12 bucks a bottle at the drugstore. I don't know why I didn't buy it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, I had originally thought on the scent profile with that soap that maybe uh, th this was something unlabeled too. I don't know if Razor Rock eventually gave this. They use this unlabeled stuff as a stuff where they try a scent and if it sells and they like it, they give it a name. I don't know. I haven't really looked. I just happened to be buying some stuff there one time and I saw this and I thought I'll try this. I do like how this smell it smells. It's very, very, very floral. Uh, and I do like the smell of this uh, so much so that they still have it. They did make an uh, EDT of uh, this scent. Uh, if next time I uh, place an order, if they have it, I'll buy, buy me some. So uh, there we are. That's the shave. Uh, if uh, if you have not uh, gone to the shaving cadre, uh, it is my opinion and the opinion of others that it is the greatest shave form. Uh, they do not specialize in uh, beatdowns of their members. <laughs> they specialize in having fun. Okay, so, so, okay. And they make fun of me because of my powder cannon, okay. But it is a cannon, man. I do like this was a This was another thing that I uh, garnered from uh, visiting at the shave, Shaving Cadre, the use of this. And if you have not tried a little bit of uh, talc, uh, I think you should. It, it, uh, uh, for me, it provides a very nice smoothness and a finish. I, you know, I only go for the uh, talc talc. Uh, I don't know how the cornstarch stuff works out, but for this, this this leaves a smooth, gliding type finish on my skin. Uh, it's a very good thing. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Bill here, Bill M at theshavingcadre.com. Uh, also, Bill and M on YouTube. Uh, uh, go over to the Shaving Cadre. Go to the member videos in their media section. Look through there. There's just a great, great uh, group of guys who are making videos because it's kind of fun. They're showing off their stuff and they're showing off what they do. 
and they're not selling anything. There's no, there's nobody. I mean, we tease about, we tease about sponsors and stuff like that, but there's nobody reviewing these products for anything other than the enjoyment of doing so. Okay. And there's, uh, there's, uh, no money going in the pocket behind the scenes, uh, <laughs> because you're promoting a specific product. So that's it. Uh, convex honed. Uh, those of you that are uh, going to Vegas, it's going to be really, really great fun. I hope we can all behave. And I got this horrible looking shirt on here, but it's a shave shirt. Because I just in case I do a video, uh, a shave video for Vegas, I, I do want to have my official shaving cadre shirt on which is another benefit of uh, belonging there. You can get one of those. So everybody take care. Happy Easter to y'all. Bye.